With holiday travel in a steady climb, health experts were already sounding the alarm. 8,700 COVID patients in Texas hospitals at Thanksgiving, steadily climbing to more than 10,000 now, with potential for all this travel to make it even worse. But if all these COVID warnings and all these repeat numbers are falling on deaf ears. Don't take for granted the time that you have with your loved ones. Perhaps you will listen to COVID experts like Allison Sullivan. No. Uh, uh, the last time I saw my dad was last Christmas. Her father was Stephen Taylor White, a retired dentist in Austin who got sick early in the pandemic. Doctors tried everything, including convalescent plasma, but he died April 26th. He was 74 years old. Holidays mean family to me. And um, so it's, it's difficult to be joyful. It's difficult to even acknowledge the, the season. It's just a difficult time when you lose someone. So this year, there is no large family gathering for the holidays for them. And like health experts have recommended, she wishes other families would do the same. Please be careful. Please think beyond yourself and think about others. And so please be careful and stay home. And that's the best way to show love for family. But even as upwards of 20% of North Texas hospital beds remain filled with COVID patients, the Sullivans cling to hope. Allison's daughter, Victoria, is a nurse. She received the COVID vaccine just this past week, and she also got engaged. That's something to be joyful for, and so we're, we're trying to look for joy wherever we can find it. As for COVID and the damage it's already done. I just hope everyone will take this seriously and we can get through this together, and that in several months, we'll be looking back on this as a, a long, a long ago memory. A painful memory, already hundreds of thousands strong. In Dallas, I'm Kevin.